So today is our first day of harvest at Polis Polis. It's September 24th on a Friday. And I am gonna show you how red wine is made. Well, how red wine is made here. This is Peter. He's driving the forklift to pick up our bed. We used to pick into these but now we don't anymore uh, for reasons I don't really understand besides that it's a pain in the ass for the uh, crew. So now we pick into these quarter ton, third ton bins. Um, this is Pinot Noir that we have brought in from the Joy Fantastic. It is um, the Swan clone. Oh, did you turn that off for? Thanks, Quality boo. Control. Quality control? Sound quality. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I got the shot. Action. This is our cellar where we uh, leave the grapes until we are ready to process them. Uh, they were picked sometime in the middle of the night, uh, brought here, and they wait for us to arrive. So it's pretty loud in here with all the equipment on, but we dump the grapes into the hopper. This is the first step in making wine is that you have to get the grapes either into the destemmer or not, depending on if you're gonna leave them whole cluster or not. And uh, at this point, we will start sorting through some of the grapes. Just me and Peter are here. What are you, what are you pulling out there, Mr. Hunkin? Uh, anything that is not grapes, so like leaves, and then any clusters that seem either underripe or overripe. Like you can see example? that's not fully colored. So yeah, just little bits of leaves. It doesn't seem like much, but if you look at your bucket, it's down below. You know? This is what I've been removing so far. Uh, mostly, like we see, like that's mildew. Don't necessarily want that in your ferments. Uh, that is mold. This is an unripe cluster. You can tell by how translucent uh, the grapes are that these are pulled out because. Um, Sometimes it's they just, it's like a second crop. It comes in a little bit later and it just doesn't get ripe in time. For our Pinot Noir, we do partial whole cluster and we also destem some of the grapes. So there's some stems in the fermentation and some not. For the part that we have to destem, the grapes have to go through a destemmer. And I'm gonna show that to you. It's very loud in here. Stemmed will then go um, up the grape elevator into a tank, and I'll show you that in just a sec. Um, and then the stems go into another bin. So you'll see here the stems coming off the conveyor with hopefully as few grapes as possible. There are always some casualties, but look at this. This has destemmed beautifully. There are very, very few grapes in here, which is really nice. You know, a little bit. But this is what's called our stem bin. And then over here, sorry, a little. But that's what you call a uh, Mickey Mousey hit here at Hollis Bullets. cluster which means that we need to swap what's going to be the fermentation tank uh, where the de grapes are going into with the stem bin. Um, I could either help Peter or let him do that alone. Oh shit actually we're starting a whole new tank I forgot it's because I'm videoing he's annoyed. Okay we have a fresh tank going into place for the swan clone this is going to be whole cluster the majority of this tank so here peter is with his exceptional steering uh skills with the pallet jack well done uh mr hunkin and now we'll lift the top of the distemmer up because we're not going to use the distemming arms oh 
this is this is must see TV over here. <laughs> and we'll just use the conveyor. This is inside the destemmer, these little fingers. Actually, Pete, will you just turn on the rollers for just a second? So you can see when you put grapes in there, it just sort of spins them around. And uh, that is the, stop now, quit. Don't do it anymore. We're just gonna use the conveyor to load the grapes into the tank whole bunch. So this is a beautiful sight, an empty tank. Hello, hello. is pooping. Okay, I got your good side. Okay. Just a juice sample we're gonna send off to the lab for a panel and it'll tell us um, the sugar and the pH and the TA and the malic and the nitrogen and all the important stuff. So what do you do with that information? Uh, that helps us just know about the vintage and what the pH shift will be and also if we need to add any nutrients during the fermentation. Uh, it's just and it's interesting to have year by year to see see the health of the vines. And we take the juice sample and it goes in this cage refrigerator. And look at this. And somebody picks that up later. Hey, hey Marley. What are you doing? How's it going? This is Stiltman. Hi. Hi, Bubba. Well, did you send lay down? Hi. Guarding the juice samples. 